Okay. We, we started that it? Is that the start? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't have the option on my OBS. Delete that shit. Welcome okay. to the OSRS podcast where we're going to be talking about RuneScape related things. I'm one of your hosts, Mint Mag Cow, joined with... What's going on, guys? Regsy, as always. And Rice Cub. And we have Shay. Shy. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we Sorry. rehearsed this, man. Come on. Love it. <laughs> Shy, who is our first female person on the podcast. So everyone treat her nice in the comments. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. We'll and we're going to clickbait this title, man. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Now. We're going to have to put some cleavage now. Um, so <laughs> Shy, <laughs> Shy some on tell them a little bit about you right now. Like, uh, what do you stream? PKing? Like, uh, so so I mean more about stream you. Bounty Hunter PKing. Okay. And, and that's the. Like, oh, sorry. No, no. Let the woman fine. speak, sorry. man. Come oh, on. No, I stopped. <laughs> uh, I really was... like bounty hunter king, um, like pure pet hunting, that kind of. But like in the wilderness, yeah, I only really do bounty hunter. And Rice Cup brought her on because we're actually going to be talking about the new bounty hunter update coming into the game. So that was a good move. We got somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't think Rakesy or Rice Cup have been a bounty hunter in a long time, and I'm usually. Yeah. Out of Green Dragon, so yeah. uh, let's, let's so, jump right into this uh, update then, man. I'm, if I, if I can quickly just ask, Shy, did you PK in the old BH or are you a new player, old player? Um, so I was free to play only like when it was actually 2007. Yeah. So I did like free to play bounty hunter. Do you remember with like the EP system? Yeah, I do. I didn't know there was a free to play version actually. Did they have yeah. a free to play bounty hunter crater, or am I just on crack? That's yeah, not... there was a crater, but I don't think there I was, was a crater. Yeah, there, there, there was. I yeah, yeah, there there definitely was. I so remember... you just go in there with full rune and a little. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. Um, what what yeah. people used to do is because there was no free trade. If you wanted to split like God War stuff, you had to like buy out uh, God rune armor sets and and let your voice kill yeah. you in the bounty hunter. <laughs> To get the, like split. the Sarad Omen set was like five mil. Yeah, exactly. Zami was like Same five mil. Yeah, those are the good. You yeah. guys remember when you had to trade like garbage for the trade limit, like a bunch of like sweet. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> what I did. That was I, so I, dumb. I, I did oh Addy, Adamant Arrows, Poison plus plus. Cause that, of course, yeah. your ass knew how yeah. to do the system, right? I had course, to, man. man. I did God War so much, you know. You just had. Dude, to you know how much I begged for free shit? That ruined me. That ruined me, man. I was gone. Ah, oh, that hurt my heart. Dude, I miss those days. You guys watch Lord Makeup, by the way? He's a deboer. No. Yeah, yeah, I know who that Yo, is. Yo, Rakesy, no, he's probably your clan buddy back in the day, don't you? I don't you? really watch YouTube Lord back Makeup, then. Lord Makeup, yeah. Was he the void uh, debo rusher? Oh, yeah, was? dude. He would go on the bounty hunter 4848 loot. Oh, love those videos. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was... Some I, shitty I love editing. The creators, man. Dude, I'll tell you this. The first time I ever hybrided in our rims, I remember it was in the BH Crater days, and I remember I was shaking. Like, I was so filled with adrenaline. I was so scared. My team was right in the middle. And I go into the crater, and I was so fucking nervous. And this was a blessing, believe it or not. Some D-bar ran over to me. One hit me for max. <laughs> and, like, I said nothing. Like, I didn't tell my team or anything. I just pretended it didn't happen. But as soon as that happened, I was fine. Like, my nerves had completely gone. I just got one hit for four hour in. Did you record that, or...? <laughs> If I did, I deleted it. There's no way I was letting yeah, anybody see it. I would have been kicked. I would have got insta kicked from my clan. Do you know what I mean? It was bad. It was really per fucking bad. Was it per pretentious clan? There got to be best of the best. Team high quality, man. It's in the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Damn. Yo, I Yo so um, Rice Cup or Shy or Racy? Can you guys explain to me what the bounty hunter update is, though? I haven't really uh, done. I'll much. put it up on the. Into it. Chat. Um, so I'm gonna be learning today. Let's let Shy do it because she's all about the. Oh yeah, let's make her work. There we go. All right. Yeah, you can you can intro this. <laughs> okay, so um, the update that was posted recently for bounty hunter and PvP, like that's not the bounty hunter rework. That's gonna be a completely separate. But um, these updates mainly are gonna be like. Requiring an emblem for the chance of the game to generate one. So, I currently, like if you idea. kill your target, I like it too, but I feel like <laughs> it would probably be better for new people if you just had a higher chance to get one. Like, if you had a tier, not require one. 
Maybe yeah. for newer people, but those emblem bots and I don't know. I don't even know how they're maintaining their price. To be honest, I mean, and people are just way too lazy um, for rune. Yeah, damage. they're, they're kind of dropping right now, actually. Don't they maintain a lot of their price because you can buy like dragon battle axes and that's yeah. uh, and like, that's well, fixed rune pouches value. mainly. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you make much off battle axes or anything in this shop. No, yeah, honestly, it's pouches. it's like not worth it at all to trade it into the shop. Like, right. even as a tier 10, like, you're I better see. off just waiting and trying to sell to a player. That's why I'm still surprised from Wilderness Slayer, Emblem Drops, uh, bosses on World, what, Bounty Hunter, 18, 19, uh, that they're still decently priced, 125k. That's crazy. They yeah. should be so cheap. Yeah. Because the rune pouches, honestly, yeah. that's, it's like, a smart the why they hold value. Oh, yeah. yo, what, the rune pouches. What, yeah. what do you guys think about the update for rune pouches for Slayer points? So oh, I'm a I'm, hater. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually like for it. Like me too. Fine. Yeah, I'm for it I as just well. wish. <laughs> the, I just wish they waited until like these bounty hunter rework or this these updates came out, like buffing emblems or making people like more encouraged, encouraged to use. Because now emblems are like dropping, and I feel like they're just gonna go right back up again once this update comes out. Yeah. Um. So I'm not a big fan of the change where they're putting root pouch to the slayer because. To be honest with you, Slayer already has like a hundred billion different rewards. So so it's it's one of those things where where their mentality is like, okay, where do we want to move something to? It's like, oh, let's do Slayer every single time. Like, relax. I mean, you know? it is a lot of points though, right? It's like yeah. one thousand yeah. five hundred I mean, or something. Yeah, I don't have I don't have complaints one, about one two five oh. Yeah, okay. I don't have okay. I don't have complaints about the points. It's just the fact that they just cram, cram in everything to Slayer, which makes it so Slayerscape. Like yeah, I, mean, I kind of agree I mean, oh, there. Definitely. Slayer is definitely the backbone of RuneScape. Like, right like now. they Slayer is already so big, they don't need to make it bigger right now. Like, but I mean, if you think about the rune pouch, right? Like, the only people that are going to buy the rune pouch through Slayer are people that don't want to go into the wilderness, yeah. and the only people that really can't go into the wilderness are like hardcores. Yeah, and yeah. what it's not like we're missing. It's not like we're taking a portion of players out of the wildy because most people who get an emblem or a hardcore. And get a rune pouch. Yeah. They boost for it anyways, or they That's... play it really safe down in yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my my so... point isn't to exclude the player. I'm just saying there's better places that, that they could move it to, like Mage Training Arena. Everybody hates That's... it, so that we're would all that equally... would make sense. Yeah. Holy shit, that would make so much sense. Mage Training Arena for the rune pouch. That makes right? more sense. Than the... Dude, that I'm makes sense. It does. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. equally hates Mage Training Arena, so we're all good. You know. I'm sure there's one guy out there who loves that shit. Yeah, there's always that probably. one random person. <laughs> it's but... probably Bodhi, man. That guy's yeah. always there. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I've only ever He's got a wizard. Boots. That's why. I hate that place. <laughs> Bodhi's a wizard. That place is horrible. Yeah. I remember, okay, back when I started my YouTube, I was trying to find guides to make for views. <laughs> and no one had a mage training arena guide. So if you look up Mitmag Cow Mage Training Arena, you're gonna find the shittiest guide of your life. <laughs> it's we? literally the worst thing I've ever seen. No editing, horrible commentary. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to look this up. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, it's 2007, by the way. Oh my god! Look at oh, my god. oh my god. <laughs> when was this Dude, 2013 look, boys look at those views boy the, Dude, my voice let's, let's have a look sound. at the comments man i want to see the comments oh my god haha <laughs> <laughs> i was looking for a guide on this and found you something like i guess you don't recognize me on youtube what that's probably oh, one of your twitch viewers <laughs> that's edited too that's some creepy shit <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many of each rooms i'll get infinity boots? how the fuck like, does anyone supposed to know that joe that's a fucking real specific question man. i know right <laughs> yeah, like, i love when people ask me like um guys joe yo they'll be like how many planes do i need from 50 construction to 85 i'm like how am i supposed to know <laughs> right like what yeah, are you man. do i look They're like trying, a kind of that here. detailed oh what calculators are for anyways i don't know what this bh update is so let's read it because i i don't know i haven't actually looked at this so i don't know what the changes are at all have we got a volunteer to read well she said that uh you won't have a chance of getting an emblem if you don't have one already so they're kind of making emblems more rare in in that sense that so you have to risk one to get one so like what's the problem with um allowing you to get emblems without getting emblem is it because people farm it too easily yeah to be honest there's yeah. I, the thing is i think bh should be a higher money making method than anywhere else in the wild for pking just because of the emblem factor that's why people go there yeah uh so i don't see a problem with that but yeah they're kind of trying to make it more rare 
but I, I don't know. Yeah, it's I think whatever. they just want people to risk more in general, like in the wilderness, and trying to make it more profitable. It, so you're saying they're making it more rare for you to get an emblem off just a target. In that case, like, where are the emblems going to come from? Like, well, it's still spawning. Crazy. So, like, hey. if everyone's bringing emblems, like, you'll still be getting emblems, and you can get them from, like, Wilderness Slayer, from killing bosses on three. It's okay. just if you don't have an emblem on you, you can't get one when you kill your target. That's Unless, right. unless they have one. But, yeah, the game won't Oh, there. yeah. All right, that makes sense. That's going to increase the price of emblems then. So that sounds good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, what's with I mean, the bounty hunter targets change that they're doing? Yeah, so there's a penalty, right? Uh, says if you leave the wilderness for two minutes and log out, it's currently possible to step into the wilderness in quick succession to prevent the two-minute timer from going down as fast as it should. What does that mean? Yeah, it's like stalling like... the penalty. I used to do that. Yeah. Okay. I did that before. For my People like story. will grief with it. Oh, so that's, oh, and they're like, taking that away. Just keep stepping like in and out of the wilderness, and like your time, their timer won't go down at all. It's oh, like, I either hate you those have to skip them or you're There's waiting. There's some like, toxic ass fuckers in oh, Dalian, it's, aren't there? It's honestly so bad. Do you get any horrible treatment being a girl and streaming bounty hunter in the wild, or is that? I mean, not any more than anyone else would get in bounty. No, okay, because so. I was wondering. I go to bounty hunter, I don't get shit. Really, but when I go deep floaty, they'll just hunt my ass down. So that's always fun. Oh man, are they changing it so that you don't get deeper wildy targets? I know they probably they did that update. Are they going to do anything more to that though, or is that not well, in this? Right. It says since implementing the option for all players to toggle the ability to receive a bounty hunter target past level ten wilderness. I didn't I know that was a thing. Game. I thought those were yeah, yeah. That's what it's saying. Uh, but in the game, yeah. Which okay. Once, which once toggled on, on Coles' players to only get targets in level one to ten of the wilderness, we've been made aware of several problems regarding the bounty hunter targets players are receiving. Several uh, problems, just a huge clan of wild <laughs> waiting for you. Yeah, one problem. That's real fun. The uh, the wilderness has always been famed due to the concept of risk v rewards, but when fighting another player, it can be difficult to ensure they're risking an amount worthy of your own risk. Uh, what is possible to skip these low, lower value targets? It's more often than not that the <coughs> players find themselves stuck waiting either thirty or three minutes to receive another target due to skipping too many times. We'd like to improve the experience for players want, wanting to get stuck into the action of bounty hunter by allowing them to freely skip their target if they aren't risking a mysterious emblem. So that's one of the updates they're talking about implementing right there. That should yeah. pretty much think? make the wildy more lively. I mean, what, they're making it faster to get fights with better risk. You don't have to go deeper wildy. Um, other than the whole emblem thing, uh, it sounds like a pretty, what yep. do they call that, a straight that fire just, way? Yeah, it just encourages more emblems in gen general, like into BH, so that's great. I mean, yeah, that's fair, because people lie about having emblems and stuff, I imagine. Yeah. Especially no. a bit, like, <clears throat> you can't trade them when they're past, like, tier one, right? No, you yeah. can't. No. Well, yeah, no. No, no you, you can't. Gotta die I was them. saying, like, yeah, you oh, okay. <laughs> But hey, you see the little graphic that they did? It says, look at it, uh, on the top, it, it's like wealth, seven. Like, it actually shows you if yeah, the guy so has an emblem. Yeah, so you'll be able to see, like, what emblem your opponent has and if they have one. That's good. Yes. Yeah, that, that's cool, oh, transparency. Sure. And it, it says underneath that that if your target isn't skulled, because you get a lot of people mm -hmm. that take, like, four items as plus ones and they don't skull, you can just skip them for free. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's, I yeah. like that. That's I mean, amazing. Free, unfair. I, I hate yeah, facing yeah. unschoolers. That's amazing. Yeah, my I think problem a... about Bounty Hunter is that there isn't a lot of variety. Because I'll go out there as a main, and you can't find anyone who's not DH fighting. You can't do no whip or, you know, just some fun fight. Always DH. You got to risk three mil to fight as a main. Uh, med levels, there's some running around. And then pretty much you got like one or two set combat levels for a pure. And I'm thinking, you know, it's like you either make two different accounts on a pure, one med level, or you got to risk DH if you want a PK. There's not much variety. That's the only thing. Bounty Hunter's kind of missing out on his variety. He's not not as much anymore. Yeah, there's like a bracket levels, right? There's like three, kind of. Yeah, which is boring, right? You kind of want to be free, you know? You want to make that OB tank level 70 with 99 strength and just start slamming people. You know, you don't want to build in between a combat bracket. I hear uh, are you saying the level ranges in which people can be assigned as targets are too narrow? Are you saying to make it No, lighter? I just... No, because that'd be a PvP world thing. I'm just saying that it'd be nice if this update brought more variety. You know, more people. To yeah, come. but like, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> you know, what's bringing more people to be honest? Because there used to be more variety. There's not anymore. 
So I think they're actually trying to do that with the Bounty Hunter rework. They wanted to, like, they introduced this, like, two years ago at RuneFest. No, like, a year ago, sorry. And they were saying that if you talk to the Emblem Trader, he can assign you, like, tasks where you have to go kill your target wearing certain gear. If you do, then you get, what like, a loot crate, and it's, like, a separate ranking system. What the fuck? This sounds badass. Oh, yeah, yeah, it actually sounds, like, kind of fun. <laughs> and very it could difficult. Be so they have to, like, right. check your gear before you're, like, okay Dude to shows leave. up in red yes. elegant and a myth scimitar, like, so, you're fucking going down. Mean, like, kill your target with, like, <laughs> I don't know, the most ridiculous combo. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, yeah, 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 it's like PvP missions or something. You know? It'd be, like, mammal yeah, random gear. Of. I like that. You know, and, like, I like, think it would have, like, a separate ranking, like, ladder, which I think would encourage a lot of people to, like, try to... Because it would be standardized. In, in yeah. a certain way, which is by equipment. So right. So have they implemented that in this post, or is are they no? Sort of that's like actually a different it? post. Like the, these are just quality of life updates and a few poll questions that they wanted to implement. And yeah. then the bounty hunter rework is coming like later in the year, I guess. See, this is okay. why we brought her on, dude. This is like it, so. Fantastic. So what is the bounty hunter rework? Is there a link to this? Because we can. We don't actually know like what's in it yet. Oh, they haven't told us anything. Dude, I, I cannot know, wait to see the comments. Sons of a gun. So <laughs> clueless. With like the uh, quality of life. So like, Shay, <laughs> shy. As somebody who like BHs a lot, what would you say are like the biggest flaws with BH currently? Uh, everything covered actually. Not enough risk. A lot of unschoolers, and you're forced to like face them or have a thirty minute timer. And ragging. Ragging oh, was ragging. Really Have you talked about ragging? Yeah. Well, I think this kind of gets that ragging thing out of there because you can skip people. So, like, what, what's the. Yeah, uh, exactly. What's exactly the problem with ragging in Bounty Hunter right now? Like, and how well, people they, like... just get on you. That's the thing. They won't get off you. They'll, they'll, like, find reason why they hate life and go, you're it. And they'll just fucking get on you all night. My mom yeah. beats me. You're going down. Like, it's like the and they fuck? usually get like a whole clan of people and they're like 30 mil for off and they will like literally only oh hit you God. and only target you. It's like the point you can't like even fight your targets really. And they'll be like, uh, okay. why is the so will they, be they dead? Just, they basically <laughs> stop you from being able to actually fight the people that yeah, you Yeah, like their purpose so, isn't to kill you. They're not trying to kill you. They're just trying to harass you and like grief you to the point where you saying people would steal your club penguin account. You know, it's oh, just wait, so how, how was Jagex like dealing with that? What, what, what are they dealing with this? This is how they're dealing with this. I know how they. I know how they're typically... not really, honestly. Hey, Eleven dollars is green to them, bro. Come on. Like, I mean, to be honest with you, mom's credit card. You're yeah. good. To be honest, there's no f real system, but I know a way to like get griefers or like harass harassers. Hey, kind just of hire thing. me, dude. Mod you, ba man. you basically need to record videos of you getting. You know, griefed in whatever way, and then you have to send it to Archie, and then one in twenty-five million chance that he'll respond well, to you. Well, I can't DM yeah. Archie, so yeah, <laughs> I can, and trust me, I haven't hit the roll table on that. That sucks. I, I, like, I, I, don't I was feel actually like getting they... ragged like really bad like a year and a half ago. Like I couldn't yeah. even stream PK, it's and I kept like yeah, making dude. posts on Reddit, on Twitter about it. Like I was tweeting Archie, I was posting it on Reddit, and it took like almost four weeks for an answer. Yeah. I had like over forty hours of these people ragging me. For yeah, a month like, straight, I was ragged one sucks. time. Wilderness yeah. Slayer. My post had to get to like the front page of Reddit two times before I even got the answer. <laughs> yeah, Chris, <laughs> oh it's just there's no like, formal system for it. I, I literally only had the proof because I was streaming it. Like, imagine if you don't stream. Imagine if you don't just record yourself playing RuneScape. There's, yeah. exactly, there's some shit. It's kind of mad. I was streaming nowadays. Wilderness Slayer, right. and they followed me for eight mm. hours. Different Slayer tasks. I remember, I watched that stream, man. I remember 20 that. people, man. I no, feel like I there is a solution for ragging and bounty hunter, and I don't. It's going to be controversial, and you guys might not like it. But oh, bring um, it on. so in my in my eyes, the way I see a ragger is somebody that's risking nothing, but they have KO potential, or they're risking nothing, they have no KO potential, and they're just annoying as fuck. Yeah, crystal. So, yeah, the crystal. Blue there's guys. only yeah. There's only one bounty hunter world, right? What do you guys think if they made it so you're not allowed to go into bounty hunter into that world into the wilderness unless you're risking an emblem? Because then that defeat, like that, gets rid of raggers because they have to risk something. Therefore, they're worth money if you kill them. But also, like combat, hey. like looters, which could be good. Oh, oh, what about this, right? So, like, are, are, are you saying yeah, that? You. Oh wait, there's echo somewhere. I don't know where it is, but that's probably me. Sorry. Uh, if you want, you can adjust it. But so, you're are you saying like you just can't enter the wilderness, or you can't, like, or you can't participate in like the whole bounty hunter mechanics if you don't meet the requirements? What? what? The thing is, there's only one BH world. Every yeah. other world you have access to the wilderness. So yeah. why wouldn't they just try it out and be like, you're not even allowed in the wildy unless you are risking either a certain amount of wealth 
or if you have a mysterious emblem. Yeah, I feel see, like that'll, that that'll, that'll bite you in the ass. Yeah, you know, you know what ass, I was man. thinking? Like, cause, cause I, I kind of get what you're saying. Like, what you could do is like, you could have another world where if you don't have a skull uh, or emblem or, or a certain high risk emblem risk, world, you can't, you can't even attack people. You know what I'm saying? Like, just see, get both rid of that those ability. ideas would just yeah, that makes sense. like. Your mind's From in the level right place, one to 10, but level one to you 10 can't split up the wild. You can't have one be a shitty wildy and then one risky wildy. You gotta have like everybody in the same yeah, 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 area yeah, yeah. if you want more yeah. people PKing. And I, then I agree. The emblem agree. thing would also just not pay, make people PK, to be honest. No, man. I, I understand that, but if we're talking about how to deal with ragging, unless you have another suggestion. Well, this will deal with ragging because if you're only doing target <laughs> fights, they can't rag you anyways, so. Well, I mean, like, does it prevent them from attacking you still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You still get, you can still get uh, ragged, though. Yeah, yeah that's you can still get ragged. So. On, on yeah, a PJ so. timer with fighting your target, you can't. I get was ragged. thinking. Oh yeah, if you're like, you can hit your target anytime, like even if the persons aren't sitting you. But they can like, still you attack can hit you, your though. So yeah, yeah it's, it's, he's still like there, but. <laughs> pretty much. So yeah. that doesn't that doesn't deal with ragging though, because yeah, say if Shai's doesn't. got a target that's like level three. Well, and there's some retard that's attacking her at level one. By the time she gets level three, she's like down four or five food. That doesn't deal with the issue. Yeah. Whereas make it so that kid yeah. has to have it, an emblem. You can turn around, spec him out, take his emblem. Idiot. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, no, 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 no. But... You think people who are toxic are going to stop at not having an emblem? Are you kidding me? I no, mean, there's I'll people hold... out there that will sip a Brutos when they get 95 HP and they will never die and rag the shit out of you. But All right, well, these are some are people... extreme raggers. There are yeah. people who have like six accounts being made right now in case their main ranking account gets banned. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like they're I mean, crazy. They'll bring an emblem. So <laughs> we, can, do it. we can either like keep it as it is, Ragan's still going to exist. If you implement something like this, the way I see it, if they did make it so you need an emblem to be able to attack anybody in the wilderness, like at least you know they're risking at least 125k. Do you know At what I mean? Least you, like, so, profit off of this, yeah. Here, we'll yeah, get some exactly. chat interaction I, I, in here. I feel like they could just kind of make it so that in that world, it's only like level one to ten wildy or something, you know? Because like, because like, it's weird if if you because you can abuse that if you're like going, you know, to high level wildy to do something in that world. So like, what if they just like made it level one to ten, right? Dude, imagine how good that would be. Like, honestly. Like, no, no, okay. there, wouldn't, there wouldn't be looters. There wouldn't be looters because looters wouldn't be able to go into their in, well, in there unless cheap, they had a, a had a mysterious emblem. So level three think... would be getting killed for a hundred k left, right, and center. Chad, yeah. do you think that this idea is a good idea? Where if you bring an emblem into Bounty Hunter, you can attack people, but if you don't have an emblem, you can't you can't have a fight. What I mean, do you guys think? It, it's just a fault to stop ragging. It's either that or. Message but the thing, and pray that he replies to you. The thing is, you know? these yeah. updates in general, if you're fighting only target fights, isn't that the point? Are, yeah, yeah, but the, there's, there's nothing to stop people attacking you. Yes, there is because you, you can jump right onto your target and get a fight going. Yeah, but what if they're in level three, like I just said, and you get and you run a level, level three? One. I mean, but that doesn't, deal, is, that doesn't deal with the raggers. Fight, but you'll still get past them and you'll still have a fight. Because it's really, what, what are bounty hunter fights? It's pretty much a spec and telly nine out of ten times. So yeah, you're not going to be getting, running out of they're food. They're trying to get rid of that, though. That's Usually. the thing. They're trying to get yeah, rid of that. Yeah, that's true. Because <clears throat> right, like, they so, don't yeah, that time, stuff. You know, just they, to clarify something, with these updates, are they making it so that, say if I'm getting attacked by some idiot with a magic shortbow, and then I attack my target, does that instantly kick him off of me? The guy with yeah, the That has been for a while, but yes. Let's oh my this. god, have you not been to VH in like since 2000? No, no. VH, is, VH is boring, man. It no, is, no offense. Hey, it, shy, no, no, it shy definitely can be. Content, okay. it, that that no, shit needs a massive rework. It, I would go to VH. Really boring, this is a massive like, rework, motherfucker. This is the literally the yeah, anti ragging thing. Like, yeah, I feel so. like the majority of bounty hunters, like, you're kind of sitting there waiting for a target who may or may not just spec that. Yeah, okay, to, like, yeah, do, okay, like, so, uh, so, so I, I still love it, obviously. I do yeah. it all the time. Like, yeah. But, uh, such a long wait. So, so do you think these changes would drastically re reduce ragging based on your experience, or not really? Um, not these ones up here, but there are some, like, further in this post that I think would. Uh, other PvP changes? Player kills yeah, and loot special issues. attack teleporting. They're not boxing, like they're not only for bounty hunter; they're for like PvP worlds. Okay. Yeah, here's here's some of the uh, anti ragging tactics right mm -hmm. here um, with the energy transfer, and then the special attack and teleporting. If you guys didn't know, they're trying to make it so that if you use your special, you can't teleport for uh, three to six seconds. Apparently, okay, that's three. 
I feel like six is a lot. Three I feel to like six that's seconds. Like, encourage what people I, to just like spec instantly in a fight. What I do at Rev Caves is always spec and then telly, and that scares me because um, they're getting better at macing now. So once you spec, <laughs> you're getting maced. You can't teleport. So I'm scared yeah. about that. Okay, but I think okay. it's a really good idea for Bounty Hunter, though. But, Shai, do you think that these updates overall are good for Bounty Hunter? Regardless of ragging, are they good BH updates? Yes, very good. Like, okay. insanely good. They're amazing, That's... and I'm so happy that there's, like, still a rework coming after. This. That's Once... awesome. Once I don't, I don't have out, a problem with the again. updates. It's, it's just yeah. the ragging side of it. I feel like that needs its own poll on its own, you know? A whole blog post. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think general, ragging is a difficult thing to do. It's kind of like so the, the thing holding back the wilderness, to be honest. Like, yeah. ragging in general. Just it, because, you know, you're level 80, and then all of a sudden you got, like, 10 people falling in on you in single clan. You know, that that's... They don't kill you as ragging, I guess, but overall, no one wants to deal with that shit, right? No one wants to learn no. how to PK and then go into the wild and get shit on. And just <laughs> I mean, have them, like, spaz, like, 30 mil for off. Like. Right. Yeah. Can, we, can we grab the uh, the Abyss Arrow Twitter pose? Because I feel yeah, like this would fit in really nice to this. this so, one? um, yeah, if you want to read it out. <laughs> oh, we got you. Okay, all right. I'll do it, I guess. Is it, like, two tweets, then? Yeah, yeah. read up the, the first one for us. It's up a little bit. All right, I got the one and two. You want to do the two and two then, Rakesy? I'll do the one and two. Yeah, sure. That's All fine. right. So Abyss tweets: BH Wait. feels more like assigned edge fights. Are you good? Sorry, what? I was just like, what is he responding to? You know, I was just trying to get that. Some, oh, yeah. Before we All actually right. read it, Man, so you read I out the a... first bit about my Mada Yiza. I'll read out the uh, Abyss. All right, all right, all right. So Mada Yiza tweets: First off, starting the saying, calling all BH fanatics. The time to get your ideas and suggestions for the Bounty Hunter rework is now. Have an idea for how the task system would work. Want to see a particular new reward? I'd love to see what you have to say, which I like how he tweets that. It's nice to have that feedback straight up. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, He's definitely trying to get more involved with PvP. Same for Archie. They've been trying to, like, uh, develop it for, like... I wish they would hire long. me as a GMod. I don't have any skills, but I could make the Wildy so active. It hurts. <laughs> it's just... But, so um, yeah, I saw this post, like, ages ago, 18th of October, and it's by Abyss Arrow, the streamer, and it, it basically says, BH feels more like assigned edge fights with a small added reward in brackets emblems. The old BH was legitimately the most balanced PvP update ever, risk for reward, long targets uh, that people felt were worth the pursuit. This current meta allows you to skip targets mid-combat 1-2. slash So, I mean, I feel like that's a very good post, and if it's here, I don't know where else he has put it. But, I'm not uh, following it, to be honest. What was so good about... Right. So back computer? back in the old BH uh, system, back yeah. when it was the uh, 70s... Because they kind of scrapped BH for a while and just came out with the EP system, right? But yeah, the EP system was... Dragon full helms, baby. So oh, I love the EP system. It was great. I'll put, I'll oh, put this in perspective for you. Why the wilderness back then was really good. The system was really good, although it had flaws, which was effectively it was bringing mills into the game for like little nothing leave in the game. But basically, say for example, you're in a BH world and you feel like going to Red Chin Chompers, right? You could head all the way there, have yourself TB, uh, God Spells, etc. Go on a little adventure, find somebody. If they were risking over 75k, it felt so nice to check these areas where you'd never check. Because you could find somebody that's risking something and be rewarded quite well for it. Whereas, like nowadays, that's not a thing. It's like back in the day, you got a reward and also the incentive to check little places in the wilderness and around the map. And it was just generally a lot of fun because you could PK everywhere and anywhere. Whereas nowadays, it's literally just a case of you go to Edgeville, you're going to fight one target, and you may get an emblem. You see what so I'm saying? The bounty Hunter PvP world back in the day. And yeah. if they had a certain amount of risk, it would roll a drop table. Okay, I remember that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the seventy six k. Bring man. that back. I do agree, though. Like nowadays, if you want to PK anywhere, it's always certain hot spots. Yeah, PvP worlds, GE, uh, you know, Bounty Hunter, obviously Edgeville, and then Deep Wildy is Rev Caves. There's really not that many other active or insanely active places. That's a problem because it I takes agree. out the variety. But. Boy, we I mean, can't be bringing this shit back. You crazy? We can't well, be bringing that back. I think it would be abused like way too. Yeah. Long. Holy shit! They already abused it. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying that it should be brought back, but in terms of fun, the fun aspect of it, 
it was great. Like, because you could go anywhere in RuneScape. It was effectively like BH across the whole of RuneScape. So just a PvP world, but it was a BH system. Do you think they should add something like that to PvP worlds, but like very minute? Hey, um... Yeah, something minute. Not like it was before. Not where you can get like a dragon full ham off a guy that's risking 75k. Right. But yeah, I wish there was like, like a slight added bonus to do with PvP. Because back, back when PvP worlds first came out again, uh, the reason to go there was you didn't have any random events, get better XP per hour. So I go out there killing skillers like an asshat because I was bad back in the day. <laughs> now it's just, there's no reason. It's just a world that's PvP. You know, there's no other yeah. added incentive to go and explore or try to find people. So it'd be kind of nice if there's just a little something to give yeah. it a little edge. Definitely. I mean, if they just if they just did that, like think of it like the example I just gave going to Red Chin Chompers. Like you could go to Red Chins hoping to find somebody that's risking 75k. And then you could also go there looking for somebody that's hunting those Red Chin Chomper hunters. And you could potentially get yourself a full mystic set plus whatever they risk. And on top of that, you'd get a reward from their death as well. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying bring back the old EP system because it was broken as hell and it brought way too much gold into the game. But like just a little something like that, and it gives you a little reward, and it gives you like that incentive to go out and like enjoy yourself. I, I feel like that would do wonders for people. What if they yeah. what if they did this? Where if they added the emblem, like a PvP world emblem, right? And there's a different shot for it. And then if you killed someone out there, uh, it would have a chance of dropping a PvP emblem or something like that along the line. So it has its own little shop. Because that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe you just bring an emblem out there, and then if you have one on you. Uh, and you kill somebody every once in a while, they'll drop a certain item. I don't know for some risk. I'm thinking. I mean, the the main issue back in the day with the EP system, like we just said about the abuse, it can't be something which is too OP because even with what you just said, people would abuse that and people would farm those emblems. But if they made it so like it did drop a PvP world emblem, but you could only buy certain things with it, which in a way doesn't really count is like a like gold coming into the game like the shop could sell very specific things which would help you in some sort of way instead of giving you like a cash reward or just like some alcohols to be able to sell or out as you please i i feel like that could work but it needs to be something that can't really be abused yeah, just like an um, idea at the top of my head is like have an emblem for pvp worlds yeah in general, and then have some sort of roll or drop table or if you have an emblem on you and you're skilling you get more wood or something you know so you can go out and you can hunt skillers or pvmers and you get like certain xp per, you know what i mean just like a cat and mouse kind of thing in a pvp world and if you have that certain emblem you get bonuses kind of like the uh artisan right where oh, okay. they have totems i have a question That'd this cool. is so so it kind of it kind of brings to the point of the bounty hunter system right now obviously is kind of just localized to Edgefell area. Do you guys yeah. like that or do you guys want it to be more uh, roaming, you know? Like Maybe cover slightly all roaming the with some of the bosses all dropping the emblems and there's some certain hot spots to be honest in uh like, Cuz like what what you guys are kind of saying is like you don't really like the idea that everybody just fights in Edgefell for for bounty hunter. Yeah, we'd like more variety. I think there's some hot spots very very minute not too many people yeah, what about you Shad? Under, but... like do you prefer just like edgeville only or you prefer like all over the wilderness well like i personally just like to say edgeville but i feel like we should have more incentives to go like deep wild i feel like that'd be great for the game have more activity yeah, around there because like, there's yeah. not really like too many active spots or like maybe three like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's I, about like it. I, I feel like Maybe the problem just kind of stems with the fact that there's just maybe not as many PKers as there used to be. Because maybe the turnover for finding new targets, even even with the change, might like still end up having you wait and stuff. How, to, to okay, find how I look at the wild is kind of like um, a food chain, you know what I mean? Like how humans are on top of this food chain. So it, it's like it starts out uh, bots, regular PVMers, solo PKers, you know, group PK or single clan, multi clan. And at the moment, a lot of these single PKers are joining clans, and that's kind of fucking up the whole food chain. So there's not a lot of single PKers. There's too many clans. And yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know about PVMers, to be honest. There's always those guys out there. I mean, so. right. Here, here's like a wild one for BH, because the way I see Bounty Hunter right now is I, I think it is really difficult to try and improve on it because it's already like established. But what if they added something into it? Like, if we wanted to give people initiative to, like, go around the whole of the wilderness, 
what if they made it so like there were certain hot spots in the wildy so you'd get like a, a world a world broadcast message which would be like um graveyards hot spot and if you went there you would like I don't know, they could possibly make it so that you could teleport there or like uh, there's like a portal you can go through. You go there, you instantly get assigned a target. And if you were to kill your target at the hotspot, you get more reward. So instead of just getting one emblem, you could get like two or three or something like that. I mean, that's just off the top of my head, but that could definitely like make people like just come out of Edgeville altogether and just like go everywhere. That's a really good idea. As long as they have like um, a kill timer, you or know, one of those spawn like, when you timer. kill somebody, you get like a minute to loot so yeah. you don't get like a it, clan doesn't take over because that'd be nice they need to that prevent like NT spawn camping you know because like what if you just exactly. teleport in and, and the group just piles your ass and you're dead yeah that's that could be that could be so much fun like if that was a yeah. thing if, if they put like a little portal near the uh the guy you trade the emblems with at edgeville and it was like whenever that message come up you could just enter the portal with your gear and teleport you right to the spot give you a target that's there if you've already got a target which is an edgeville it just gets scrapped and you got a brand new one and then just fire it out and it could be anywhere it could be east dragons west dragons graveyard it could be at the rev cave entrance like anywhere in the wilderness yeah that, like, kinda... that sounds fun right yeah that it would sounds, make that sounds cool. everywhere. Yeah. yeah i like that because like east dragon area that'd be dope so if, if if i hear this correctly it's like you keep the whole oh you get a target you got to stick to that target mentality but yeah. it's gonna tell you where to be like you know in the wilderness yeah. and they'll take you there and maybe it could give like a, a say a 30 second uh, warning to whoever your target is saying like get to the spot or you're about to lose your target so that could like encourage people to go to those places and obviously it could it could be in multi it could be in single just, it like, could be multi. random but, but it, can't be, it, can't be it could be it i mean could it could be, be multi yeah, but in the sense that if it was multi. clans yeah, can't but you, could, you. you could skip out on that one like if it says you're at gds just don't take it you know what I mean? Unless yeah. you've got like a clan or a few mates that you're planning on going up there with. It's kind of one of those things where, okay, we'll, we'll keep the default Edgeville place. You still get your targets type of deal. But if you want to go for a yeah. wild ride, you know, here's some area <laughs> that's like a hot spot. You yeah. know, and you'll get and your targets like, there. You, you say clans would fuck up. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not about... What, what was that? Jaja. That's like a ragging clan that used to like Jaja. run around. Yeah, you remember Jaja? It was like some CC anybody oh, could join. And you just sit at GDs and kill people and go to the portals. I always like, hear horrible things about that clan yeah, yeah. all the I, time. Man. I, I know that it sounds like it could be bad, like if they made it to multi. But like, if you were to just join that CC, or like, I, I'm sure if that was a thing, there would become more multi CCs that you could just join, teleport up, and then you may get some idiot that comes up solo and you just destroy him, and then like. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, the spot changes and you go back to normal. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like the, the idea is like it's optional. You need yeah. to keep it simple, man, have if you want a really good idea. And I think simplicity would be uh, yeah, maybe think, every green I dragon area and maybe every simple. once in a while Mage Bank. And yeah. Then, well, I mean, I'm know. just I'm just brainstorming. I literally just made that off the yeah, top yeah. of my head. Oh, like, that's a good it, idea, it is, though. I like it's that. It's pretty simple yeah, because, because like you oh, could yeah. just kind of already tell people, here are the uh, possible locations that will yeah. be randomly you know uh broadcasting for you to go and like you just make it clear here's you know multi and here is single yeah so like exactly. whenever it broadcasts that you just you know it'll tell you everything you need to know like oh it's uh, single yeah. this area level wilderness it'll tell you those simple things you're ready Dude. to go you know and you go and you, you that, that could be so much fun it could be like venonatus and you click the portal and you're you're up there or it could be like uh you know the place where you use your bones on the altar in the wildy and there's a chance of getting like yeah, uh, yeah. Not, yeah. Not yeah. yeah. But um, imagine roaming up there and just seeing like a hundred white dots and one of them is your target that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be Rakesy's clan, dude. What do you think we're gonna do, man? <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Obviously, it's optional, right? So, like, if you don't want to do that, yeah. if you're lazy, you just stick your Edgeville, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you if you don't want to go, you don't have to. You just like, stay yeah, like just make sure the bounty hunter is in one world. You know, they they don't split it because I feel like the PK population is rather limited right now. But oh, maybe yeah. it'll bring oh, yeah. it, maybe it'll Everyone's bring enough slayer. traffic to the point that it's okay to have yeah. like this type so of PKing system is supposed to be like one of those fun side things where you you know boss a bunch and then you're like oh, i want to go have some fun with some items you know and it seems like people don't have fun in the wild anymore so that's no and they could keep pvp worlds is just like you know do like pvp stays as it is if you want to have a 1v1 with somebody for risk go ahead if you want to roam around the jewelry or whatever you know you can still do that but if they made bh fun and there was that fun aspect to it a little bit more of a reward as an incentive to like get involved 
And like, if it's fun, that's the bottom line. Games are supposed to be fun. So if you're having fun doing it, and it's like, you know, it's hooking you in, then I'm, I'm sure it'd do pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that you, gonna... you can be in different places, you know, you're kind of like, kind of like, given where to go, it's kind of... Scenery is always a good thing. Yeah. Shy, do yeah. you, uh, or, sh yeah, Shy, do you ever PK in different areas other than Bounty Hunter, maybe Brid? Um, I did, like, occasionally. Like, I would try to recruit people who, like, never PK'd before and give them, like, gear to go to revs with me. I thought it'd be, like, uh, hilarious. Uh... So and I was going to for a while. Yeah, Purge would always snipe, always, every single time. <laughs> They're so shitty, aren't they? Fuck them, Yeah, because everyone's like, well, what's the point of this if we're just going to keep getting snipe? Right? Like, why? And I'm like, I'm just trying to encourage, like, new people who don't PK to, like, try it. Can someone tell me why clans are so fucking... Because they want to they're... clear the wild. They want to clear it. What's the point of that? Then they're going to go yeah, play some like private kind of server. That's like... it. I feel like it's like the same with raggers. Like they, they need to have like some control in their lives or something. Right. Though. It's like they always have to control a spot or a world or an area and they have to clear it. Like that's that's the thing. Clear. Wilderness clans, yep. their main goal is to clear things, right? And make GP. Now, what's the point in a wilderness if it's always going to be cleared, which it's all it is right now, it's dead. Yeah. You know, what the fuck's no, the like, point, dude? <laughs> at like PKs, we should want to encourage more people to come. Like I mean, That's what I've been saying. Every oh, other MMO good. has clans that are helpful to the game. What do we got? We got Rot. We got <laughs> Cutthroat. I mean, let's be real. I, dude, they, they already hate me in general, but what have yeah, you guys done you told, that have you ever... like this about them, man. Dude, just, what have they I'm done to help quiet. the game, dude? And what have we done to help them? The game is literally always clan-friendly, but the clans are not fucking friendly, dude. What's up with that? They're so it's, shitty. It's just What's the way that RuneScape's evolved over the years, man. No, like if, it's just no, a bunch no, of nasty-ass people, dude, dude. If you went back to, like, 2004, 2005, and you were in the wilderness, if you prayed melee or you teleported away from your fight, you would instantly get put on an ignore list. Nobody would fight you. No clan would accept you. There was a clan back in the day called DI. It was Damage Incorporated. It was ran by a, a leader called G GHGGF or something like that, right? They were the most honorable clan in the wilderness. If you had like 20 people fought in on one of those members, he was not allowed to pray. You get full TB'd every single time. You could unleash 20 dragon claw specs on him. As soon as one of you prayed against him, he was allowed to pray. Now, the trouble with that is that that clan that had such good faith and, you know, it yeah, was like, an, it. it was like, it was like the alliance on fucking World of Warcraft. It was like the good side. They were getting hit daily by Reign of Terror. Reign of Terror had spies in their clan. They all of, of their like wars were getting interrupted <laughs> by rot and stuff like that. And eventually, they just gave up and they just they closed the clan after years because it got so toxic and the game moved away from what it was that they were like, we don't want to be a part of this. It just happened over time. Like the game evolved. You know? Yeah, no, it, yeah. it's, uh, it's it's unfortunate though. But um, yeah. What what I think what has what has a clan done? In the wilderness, like any PvP clan that has been slightly positive ever, yeah, but the thing other than is the like dosing attorney or leaking people, the nature of the wilderness is competitive, and the whole point of it is to kill your opponent and take their stuff. Just a lot of games are numbers. competitive, man, and a lot of I people mean, are shitty. I agree, man, but I'm just saying, like, there's not one positive thing any clan's ever done. Yeah, I'm, yeah, no, I think the it's just the wilderness is. We can't unique. even come up with one. We even come up with nasty things, but not one positive <laughs> thing. And I, we give them money, don't we? No, we give but, them um, money for PvP tournaments and shit. But but the thing is, the there's, the there's the I feel like there's kind of a difference though between PvP clans and other games because. When PvP I've, I've... clans in another game engage in fight, is usually restricted by rules. Whereas yeah. the wilderness just doesn't really have rules. It's and, true. And that's kind of like, like the problem. Like the is that because like there, unspoken yeah. rules. Yeah, because there really isn't any game yeah. control mechanics besides you can attack people. Then people will obviously try to be creative and cunning I'm and... Just... Do whatever I mean, yeah. like, can. One nice yeah. thing, one wilderness yeah. clan is done. That's all. I feel like not one thing, dude. I feel like oh, Jack needs. I'll be right back. I feel like yeah, Jack no needs to uh, regulate how the clans like can do things in the wilderness because right now it's pretty much all, you know everybody for themselves. If you're in a clan, obviously you're gonna win no matter what. In, if in, you yeah. think after but, like five years of deep wildy stuff, there'd be like one clan that shouts compliments when you get killed or something. Just one thing. Just one nice thing. Like nice eyes and they just pile your ass, you know. Nothing. Not one thing in the wild. And I get it. It's like you guys want to kill people. Yeah, no, that's just of, I think that's just I the, get issue. the nature of it, but 
Yeah, no, I think that's just the issue with multi, uh, multi areas. To be honest, because there's no restrictions yeah. on how you do single things. areas too, man. They're worse to be honest. The, the uh, thing is, like, all right, I I love the wilderness. I really do. I've always loved the concept same. of the wilderness. That's what drew me to PK and right. When I when I was first told of the wilderness, I was just told, don't go past Varok North. Don't go past the chapel. If you go there, someone might kill you and take all of your items, right? And for a new <laughs> player, for me, I was like, oh my god, that sounds fucking great. That sounds like a proper adventure. If we start like taking away uh like multi big. clans from that aspect i i think that's damaging like if you don't want to get piled by a multi clan don't go into multi if you I'm don't want to see any of that if, though if you don't want to die for your max mage to a massive clan in single don't risk mass ma max mage it, it's on you at the end of the day it's no, there's I a agree, lot of risk man. and there's big rewards yeah no you know? yeah yeah boy, I'm, I, I'm out in the wild more than your pvm and ass i don't want to hear uh, none of that from you 100 percent, yeah, but, exactly. yeah, yeah no, i'm, I'm like, tired of the wilderness at this like, point man, i still man, love the man, man is basically I, saying like oh man it just sucks that people always you know like they're just rude when they kill me in in a multi it's not but... that they're rude or they're negative <laughs> man okay I mean, it, it, that's what it basically bat. comes down to. Dude, flame, yeah. flame you got to words, bro. No. <laughs> Easy. The thing yeah, is, I mean, it's, but we can't really solve right. that problem, you know? It's not, there's what, not there's, a problem, though. I just want to really make the comparison it. that yeah. there's not one thing a clan in the wilderness has ever done that we can talk about in a positive regard, and it's been like five years, and there's a bunch of PvP MMOs out there just the same, and they'll invite people on their CC They'll treat them nice. They'll give them some gear. They'll level them up. What you do in this one, you don't do any of that shit. It's not friendly. It's not inviting. They don't add you in. They don't try to get you to PK. They try to clear the worlds constantly. Try to get you to never come PK again. They'll try to get you for your plus one. What the fuck is making people go in the wild nowadays? So I mean, that's just, shit. No, I feel that's like, like a more really... regulated. I feel like a more regulated I, wildy can do that. It's just the right? people, man. It's just a bunch of shitty people being shitty, and no one wants to go out there. And the thing is, I've met really cool PK. There's even cool people in Rot. Like, there's cool people everywhere. They don't talk though. They just sit back there and let shitty people do their thing, man. You can't get a word in. You can't have any fun. You just just shitty people. And then there's some cool people you meet in. Like, you ever have like a conversation before you fight a guy? That's chill as shit. Like, what's up? How's the wheelie? Yeah, what's sometimes. I, yeah, I do that all the time. Not often, though. Like, there are so many nice people out there. But the thing is, because it's like, oh, there's no rules, so you can be a piece of shit. That's when did that become a thing? You know, there's no rules out on the street. I'm not punching grandmas and shit, right? It's fucking. Yeah, but that's the whole point. It's a video a game, person. dude. You're yeah, supposed yeah, to be able to do things in a video well, game that you can't do in real life. Why would you like, play be, a game? Yeah, like kill people, not be a piece of shit, not be well, a racist, ingrown dude, piece of shit, I, right? I, I think, don't, Rexy, you're not in right. the wild no more. You don't know. It. You, oh, Man, I remember my I, 2006 dude, days and A-Rooms and right, shit. Listen, let me just give you something real quick. If you think Ragan's bad now, you guys have no fucking clue, okay? Let me put this in perspective. Back in my day when I PK'd at Mage Bank, you used to get kids that were in full green dehyde, snakeskin bandana, boots, divine <laughs> spirit shield, emerald boltsy, and a ring crossbow with a pack yak sat on you all fucking day. <laughs> that shit was Ragan. Okay, I know what yeah. ragged is. I yeah. know what the screen is PK the and telling man they won't it's, rag it on Dacia, it, man. It's Please. just a part of the. It's just a part of the wilderness. It's, yeah, not, yeah, it's, it's, true. it's true. It's you true, know? man. I, oh my god, what do you guys I, think? Yeah, I, I does, think, does people ragging in the wild make the game unique? Let's get some chat questions. Well, I mean, well, I'm, yeah, not, no. I'm not arguing it's a good thing. Okay? Yeah, I think yeah, it's no, shitty. I, Trust me. You know what? I play RuneScape to get ragged. It's unique, boy. Come on, man. I think I think what what the main point is is that because the wilderness is not regulated like pretty much at all, anything goes. And that's just how the wilderness is, and you can't. Yeah, really I love the randomness of the wild, man. Yeah, and I'm not saying that you got to fix it. I just, I just had a. Yeah, point yeah, I know. It, like Mint's just saying, this is an observation, and I'm not really here. To I'm always in the. I'm complaining about the wild the most, but I'm also in the wild the most. That's the thing. It's like Nowadays, people yeah. who have who love things the most will always have the most to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he's just making an uh, observation. Yeah, and I'm just kind of yeah. tired of some of the shit I see all the time, man. I'm not trying to change. I'm just trying to say it's kind of boring as shit now in the wild, dude. It's and just it's. Yeah, and it's discouraging for new players too. Yeah, no one wants to go out there. So you got a bunch of twenty-five year olds yeah. being pieces of shit out in the wild, dude. And it's like, no wonder it's dead. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I get there. that. I, I definitely get that. But like, I think that's what the whole point behind Bounty Hunter is: is that it puts in more regulation so that people and more risk who, or reward so that people who 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 participate in PvP can actually have some sort of like 
assurance, you know, yeah. of like how things will go. Because you know, usual wilderness is pretty much anything goes. You're, you're not gonna expect, you can't expect anything too much. Like what you get for reward, who you gonna fight, right? Because like a lot of PvP in in most games, a lot of it's just regulated. You know how the you know the rule of the game. You know how many people are you gonna fight, right? Stuff like that, right? So bounty hunter is kind of like a yeah. systemized way to PvP. Right? Uh, another and, thing to remember is most games that have PvP, the consequences for dying are nowhere near as big as the ones on RuneScape. RuneScape is one of the only games where when you die in the wilderness, you lose your stuff. Like, I can't really think of any other game that has that. I can think of a couple MMOs that do the same concept as well. But it's less risky, though. Others. Most MMOs no, are some, like... some you will lose your account, actually. Uh, what? See, that's the thing, game? right? See, a lot of these games out there... Just, I, dude, my friend has so many games he plays, I can't think of anything. It's like Dark Age or some shit with a bow. Because most uh, most other MMOs, like the Korean well ones... Is really you yeah. just die and like you you might lose some XP or you forfeit something. I don't no, there's know. some yeah. full loot MMOs out there. I just can't think of any. I'm sure we'll see some in chat. I'm sure. Yeah, but like that are really it, mainstream though, like RuneScape. No, there's not any main. That's the thing. No one's <clears throat> playing them because they're, they're that's the way they are. That's, yeah, they're it's just fucking dead too. Yeah. No one wants to lose all their shit. Yeah, it's very um, punishing. It's the, a miracle, the only game uh, I can think of that has the same system as a game called Eve Online. I don't oh, know if right. any of you have yeah, heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's like spaceships, and you're up there and space. There's a couple and stuff. where it's like you got sailboats, and you can build. Dude, I Sailing? wish I knew the names though. Sailing, yeah, no. dude. Sailing. <laughs> no, let's not go down that path again. No, please. Sailing, don't. man. Yo, sailing and fuck clans. If you take anything out of this podcast, there you go. Yo, yo, sailing but- PVP championships. <laughs> I'll, host, I'll host attorney. Let's go, dude. Winner gets a bond. Yeah, Can't pirate wait. teams go at it out in the Caribbeans in RuneScape. <laughs> That's what I'll wear. A, <laughs> no, I'll wear a bikini and a little thing. It'll be great. But yeah, all right. So I think we can all agree that these BH updates are good. And yeah. talking about all of this stuff that we just spoke about, the wilderness not being a very honorable place. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I don't think it's a good thing, and it's definitely not good to encourage new players to do PvP. But hopefully, if these BH updates are decent. It may be more regulated, and you may be more likely to fight a target instead of just getting bum rushed out. Yeah, exactly. There's more honor in the process, right? It'll be a good foothold to get people into the wild. Yes, yeah. So I I like I like that because you know sometimes you just want to go unregulated, anything goes, right? So you head over to wilderness. But well, sometimes you want some sort of you know control, some insurance that you're not going to get randomly ragged. You kind of know who you're fighting, right? It's like more fair. And then there's that's the whole. I think that's what the bounty hunter system, unconsciously like, is supposed to be about, right? It's it's the fact that you kind of have that insurance of knowing who you're fighting to an extent. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think that's what bounty hunter was trying to be is trying to be, but it's falling short just because it, you know it's it's, it's falling short so much. Like yeah. think of the actual name itself, bounty hunter. Sounds like you should be hunting somebody who has bounty, like. They could so take advantage of that. If you're on like a five kill streak, you get like a red skull from the BH creators. And then if you kill that person who's got a red skull, you get extra reward. Like there's That'd none of sick. that. I like that. Yeah, I mean, they could do that. But I, I just like the fact that, you know, they're they're trying to make it so that it's easier to find fights in the bounty hunter yeah. system in, in, the, in the rework one, proposal Yeah, because the old right. one, you would get yeah. uh, penalized for skipping too much. And yeah, even you if you're skipping. targets yeah. and it'd be... I remember I'd just be trying to drink a beer and have some fights. I'd be waiting like 10 minutes in between. I'm like, this is yeah. so... And if you had like five skips, it was like a 30 minute yeah. time. Yeah, and it's they, like, oh my they, God. Like, they could even yeah. make it so, like, if they're making it so, if you're doing really well, you get a red skull, they could punish the people that are skipping. So if you skipped, yeah, they could give you, like, I don't know, like, an, like, a, <laughs> like a white or like a gray see through uh, skull of the same, like, sort of thing, which basically indicates that this person's been skipping a shit ton. And if you kill this person, you won't get much loot, which will hopefully make those people not skip so much because yeah, nobody's going to fight somebody yeah. who's got that skull. Uh, yeah, they're already trying to do the you know emblem fight only thing, which is kind of nice because you know it it, incur- yeah. it discourages skipping because there's not much reason to anymore because there's always going to be loot every time. Yeah. So at that point, if you're skipping, you're just a bitch, you know, and <laughs> yeah. you should be penalized for it. So, so I think so- I think it's going in the right direction though. So. Yeah, d- definitely. Get BH, get the BH worlds to a place where it's actually good, and then from there they can build from it and implement these updates that we've been talking about. So I feel like that's it's, a good idea. It's a good cornerstone to turn on and hopefully get some more people into the PvP aspect. Because I always tell people, if you don't PK at all, you're missing out. 
on at least half the game. One it's third a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's it's a whole part of the map that they have not seen, and they need to go explore. Even if you're not taking any risks, go in the wild, DDS, Black D High, Glory, some sharks, and see what you can do at Rep Caves. You'll have a blast. You will. Yeah. Rightio, should we have a Reddit refresh? Also, that's what we're calling it from now on. From oh, now on, the Reddit, Reddit refresh. refresh yeah. Yeah, By the way, from... live every Sunday. Yeah, forgot to say that. We're taking intro. a break from all the hard-hitting questions and controversial topics. The questions that are going to yes. get me stream snipe for the next month. Dude. Yeah, probably. So that we can Fuck discuss it. I'm Iron Man some... content, dude. Fuck it. Let's... Yeah, we're gonna be, uh, you know, trying to do this weekly, obviously, to coincide with these uh, topic podcasts. We're gonna just uh, the, hit up some. Don't forget to buy our mod jet shirts. Yeah. Link down below, extra large. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, hitting some interesting or funny uh, posts from Old School Runescape Reddit. Basically, we found a few this week. Uh, I think this one. Oh, this one's my 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 pick here. But um, basically, right now, there's not much indication on how HP works. Like when you're poisoned and stuff, it, it's kind of hard to see that you're poisoned if you're low HP. So like I've died, I've had instances where like at Warcath, you know, I'd be like three HP, and I kill the boss, and but I'm like, okay, I kill the boss, I'm good, but obviously I can't tell I'm poisoned, so then I died to Poison Raptor, yeah. <laughs> which fucking well, sucks. The- so this dude's like, okay, how about we make it easier to see because why not, right? Yeah, I think that's a really nice quality of life update. No yeah. issue with that at all. I what like if they yeah, get yeah, it yeah, where they reverse the color instead of black when you're poisoned, it's green. Yeah, exactly. Like that's what that guy did. He's changing it so that it's green if you're low. Well, I mean, like the the black part though, so it's easier to see even after. Oh, that. just make it all green. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, like yeah, that's cool. Because because yeah. they he yeah yeah yeah. Wait wait, Shia, how did you die before with the poison? Something. Uh, so yeah, one time I was peeking with my D claws that I just got, and I like tell you not to fight like two HP, <laughs> and I forgot I was poisoned because I couldn't tell from like little slither of like hp that was left and i died to poison outside the portal and i lost my claw i turned my prayer off right before (laughs) it's tragic it was just like a series of unfortunate events (laughs) like like i had food i had an antidote i just thought i was fine i like didn't even think about using how much were claws back then like 120 or uh either 120 or 160 oh yeah that was a big hit Damn, I died like guy. three times of Warcath because I thought I I already had anti, <laughs> and I was like three HP. Oh my fucking god! I, I'm sure there's I, a lot of Iron Men that have died because of poison because you can't really see it when you're at like three HP or below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's ah, it sucks. I've seen a lot of people like lose their Zora uniques or pets like three. Oh, their, those are not worse. realizing that they're like venom. Yeah. They let's stick around and take a picture pal? and they like die and, lose their <laughs> and they take a picture of them falling on the ground like what. Yeah. That happened. It's always. I remember seeing someone do that with the Venonatus pet. He got one hit as soon as he killed it, and then the pet popped up as he dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, it, sometimes it was the worst thing. I've sometimes seen you ever. could die and still get the pet if you die at the right yes. time. It's super you hard. Like, you die though. before the pet like actually spawns. Yeah, you'll still get it. It's super. Yeah, if you were got a pet during a farm on like spawn. a Rex pet or something, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, somebody oh. killed a dude's Rex or something. Yeah. It's yeah. so cool. Uh, yeah, um, I guess we're done with this post. Not much to talk about. Yep. But I found this other one from this week. It's pretty awesome because you can kind of so many worlds. You can see the so comparison. many fifteen hundred worlds. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Look, look at the player base in t- June twenty fourteen. I don't know if it's like peak time or late. You know, late in the night for most people. Like Europeans are off. But... Dude, they've got two free to play worlds. One has eighteen people. The other person has the other world has fifteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember because like this was the year where like the hype started dying down and like people were just you know starting to get off. I was still playing though. I was still playing. But of yeah, course, I, of course, I remember. Man. I remember, man. It was start. It's, it definitely started to dwindle down, but but like the the updates and stuff, you know, started. This game's gonna be the new Fortnite, baby. Yeah. Let's go. We just need our dancing emote. Yeah, this I keep is a hearing better, people say that. This is a Stop better talking image. about dancing emotes. Oh, there's so many freaking worlds. There we go. I can make it bigger. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah when that, trying to find nice. people in the wild, dude, yeah, those extra now. worlds are uh, spicy. You never know what you're going to find. I keep finding people dragging two H's, killing green dragons. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know what your next video is going to be, dude. <laughs> next, Matt Macau's video, killing uh, t- uh, mobile players in the wilderness. Yeah. Oh, what do you yeah. mean? <laughs> Yo, I'm, I actually kill a ton of people that might be on mobile, so we'll see what happens. 
I would never go into the wilderness on mobile. I just don't even play on the mobile. <laughs> My fingers are too fat I to do anything mobile. like that. Well, yeah. That was horrible. All right. Uh, right. Do you have any other Reddit recap? Or uh, recap? Sorry, Reddit refresh. Do do the wiggled. This is Twitter, so it's kind of not. Reddit. Where is it? I don't. I need to get the link, Arena. Oh, one sec. I'll link it. I thought you had it. Sorry. No, I, I didn't have it. There you go. Right. Yeah, so what the fuck is that in whoops. the background? <laughs> this is very controversial because when our mobile was being pitched to us, uh, they basically said that. Mobile wasn't going to affect us PC users, and shortly after the release of mobile, this was in a poll. And I'll read it quickly. So it says, should the recent re release spellbook filters available on mobile that allow players to hide spells they don't wish to use and make the remaining icons bigger also be added to the desktop version? So firstly, they've, they've gone against what they said because uh, they said that mobile wasn't going to affect the main game. So a lot of people have... A lot of people have a problem with that. As you can see, that that passed, like big time passed. And if you actually scroll down on the post, uh, Manked posted something. And this is so true. Like, this is literally what Hibernum will be like if this is bad. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's what it'll be like. Seriously, like, uh... that that is a big no-no. That takes so much skill out of Hibernum, Tribernum. That just, it shouldn't have been polled. And I think they said that they were going to re-poll it or something. But this needs to not come in the game. I, I don't want this Definitely on our... Definitely does not I think it already the passed the repull. Or like Before it's I passing in the jump in, I gotta say, I don't really mind. I'd rather it not come in the game, but I don't... I'm not, like, hugely against it because I don't care. But the thing is, a lot of people say this is going to bring more people to PKing, and I'm thinking... That's bullshit. Why do people PK, right? That's it's not, fun. That's sure. not the But it looks why. very impressive. Now, how impressive is this going to look? None. Who wants to learn how to do this, right? Uh, it's like a Pokemon Go mechanics. It, it, no one likes that shit, right? It's it's too easy. It's not skillful looking. If people make PKing easy, no one's gonna want to learn. Yo, it. And I, it's not even making it easy. It's just yeah. that. Yeah, it, it's just it, it's it's dumb, dude. It's just dumb. But anyways, can I get my weekly like rant for Jagex going? Yeah, go ahead, man. Go, oh, let's go. go. Oh, yeah. They said. Yeah, mobile <laughs> updates aren't going to impact the PC version. And the moment they said that, within a month, they pulled two things from mobile into the desktop game with Draw X and this shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that pisses me off because, look, man, I know you change your mind from time to time, but like within a month, bro. <laughs> Like, don't do yeah. that, you know? Please don't tell somebody <laughs> that you're going to do something, and then within a month, you're going to do exactly what you... I'm sorry, are you new to RuneScape? This is kind of the thing. This it's, is what, it's, this it's is what stupid, they do, bro. man. Come on, man. At, at least, you know, give it some time and be like, you know what, after some consideration, we realize, you know, we have to kind of change our plan. But not within a month. You can't do that, man. Anyways, I'm just kind of like... Because the thing is, is, a lot of the uh, mobile updates specific are obviously going to be convenience updates. Just because you're on a phone, that shit's small. Dude. It's it's a struggle, right? So you gotta make some clicking easier. I get it. Keep it on the phone though, because you can't just like, oh, decide to pull it for the PC. Because obviously those yeah. questions are gonna pass. It's obvious. Everybody loves yeah. convenience shit, you know. Everybody loves to fuck out the quality of life. But see, yeah. Jagex, they dumb man. They they don't. They sometimes don't know. Damn. The difference between like quality of life for the for the environment versus like adding quality of life to a different environment right like people are gonna want the quality of life regardless so like it, it's so stupid because what they they expect to poll like a question of oh do you want to draw x for the desktop do you expect people to say no to that right like Dude. obviously they're gonna vote yes majority wise i cannot wait to alk it's gonna yeah. be sweet it's like super <laughs> obvious like th there's no point no in polling button. something like that because yeah. you this know this people are gonna fight, yes. like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This takes a lot of skill out of hybrid. In. I'm yeah, no, it definitely it. does because now you're like, if you, you, think you can it, just like body click that shit and, and still in get the click. Right? Yeah, there's like four different things to hybrid rise, but uh, precision of, of uh, clicking, you know, reading your opponent, pair switching. Yeah, the precision uh, is huge. You know I mean, like, and then the whole precision shit, it just goes out. It's like one fourth, one third of the, yeah, just a whole thing of whole PKing. 
gone from just this big old mash <laughs> yeah, yeah, button just, right here. Just visualize like somebody doing like a my, you know a seven. Might as well add one some take. hot keys, right? Yo, F keys yo. for like uh, spells and shit. Whatever. Just <laughs> yo yo. Imagine watching like a PvP fight. The dude does a one take six switch switch, and then he goes into the spell book and just clicks on the giant as as brushed. Click. <laughs> 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 Just clock, dude. It's like, oh, oh my, my god, god. six way one one take switch. Oh, into the one click barrage. <laughs> hey, Wait, even if PK barrage. goes down the drain, dude, there's gonna be some sweet memes after this update comes out, and that's what I'll be looking forward to at least. Just huge ass fire strike, ready F two P PK or so. Just yeah. can't wait. So I think I read somewhere that it's only gonna be like twice the size, but I'm not sure. Oh, so it's not going to be extremely huge? I don't think it's going to be like that extreme. Jagex, go big or go home, man. We don't want no puny-ass spells. If I you're going to make it big, wrong. whole fucking screen. I Come on. I thought I read that on Twitter. I, I think this is the first time I've ever seen Bald Ash losing an argument in terms of likes. And it's it's right here. Yeah, you can see it right there. So he's saying, as I recall, fortunately, Old Screenscape has an artist who's available to draw bigger ones for us so we can offer something more than pre-OC. Because Wiggle's basically saying, in pre-OC, we didn't have that, but you could just move the spells. Um, and Wiggle's response is, I would say, more unfortunate for the PKers who have spent years practicing to memorize the size slash position of the current barrage for it to be made super size and eliminate a significant amount of skill so people can kill Dagonoff Rex easier. Like... <laughs> What he's saying is true, and like yeah, no, I agree. I don't know. even PK, bro. But but the yeah. thing is, like, there there are core parts of the game, right? Like skilling, PVMing, and PK, and, yeah. and that's those three are like the core, you know, the cornerstones of the game. And people like often respect how you view, you know, certain things like oh, efficient skilling, oh, really good PVMing, and like wow, really skilled P PVPer. But, yeah. but you're getting rid of a lot of that. For the PvP, yeah, side. You know, I'm gonna be doing Inferno like, now. Uh, easy. Uh, yeah. A big part of PvP when it comes to skill, I would say, comes down to like Your click clicks. precision. Right. So they're taking away a lot of skill if they implement. Like, I'd be really upset if this comes into the game because like, I really feel it's, like it's it's not it's good. Coming, it really man. isn't. It passes it's, flying colors. It's yeah, like it's, every other. Welcome with open arms, yeah. bro. I mean, it's, it's obvious, right? Bait. Like, I, 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 it's crazy because Jackets be like, okay, yeah. let's pull like yeah, some sort of you know convenience thing and then they're like wow it's 90 percent password i would have never thought you know they're like so fucking surprised you know for the, like, for I, the thumbnail this video just a big yeah. ass barrage That's yeah, the, <laughs> i feel like just, the majority just, of things pass like besides pvp updates yeah, no, it's ones, just like, mad, wouldn't it's even just negatively annoying, affect other people yeah. Oh, dude, the yeah, thumbnail is gonna be I great. just hate the fact that they pull super obvious uh questions yeah. that's always gonna get a yes and they Are we still talk about think, the poll I mean, thing Right, yeah. yeah, roast Jagex. Yeah, no, I, ro I will keep roasting them until like, the day I really wish session. that loot keys like got yeah. into the game. I think that'd I be mean, great. That'd if have been they're cool. making it so this barrage icons like the size of like your hands, then fuck it. Why don't we just have the spec bar the entire fucking page? And at the top, well, we could be like attack. Why not, why not strength just defense. make it auto spec? Because you know, why mobile not players just have can't the spell afford right it. next Click to the person to drag it off the RuneScape interface and drag it right next to the person you're attacking. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, like I there's a. On this. Yeah, I, like yeah. This. I think Jagex <laughs> is being is getting really confused with with where to draw the line with their quality of life updates. To be honest, it's like, like when is too convenient? You know, yeah, exactly. Have you it's ever like, seen the movie Wally with those fat people on the trolleys and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. what we're gonna turn into for day, RuneScape. Dude. Yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> we're just I, all gonna I have think, no necks, that's, that's titties a, down to our knees playing yeah. RuneScape, but it's so convenient. You want to click a tree? You just click on your bank, and you're gonna woodcut. It's like what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, dude? yeah, like, because, when is it gonna be just because like I think I think Jagex. Another thing I've noticed is that they're they're starting to get used to um, making quality of life updates to the point that they've forgotten that you can argue any update as quality of life. So they've they've somehow managed to bring some crazy crazy like strong updates under the guise of quality of life, and they themselves don't yeah. even realize that they need to draw the line somewhere. And like to be honest, stuff like this should have been drawn months, yeah. years ago. Like they I, I don't agree. seem to understand that anything can be argued as quality of life. I mean, at the end of the day, it's so. passed the vote with like a huge majority. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over this. Like mm -hmm. if it comes into the game, it comes into the game, just makes it easier for me. But I, I do feel like and I do feel sorry for people that practice and have hybrided for years and you know, like they have got used to clicking all the way down there specifically. I just feel like it's it's taking some skill 
out of it definitely taking the skill out i'm sure like a lot of people won't even change their uh their ways just because of how muscle memory it is like i probably won't change mine unless it's fire yeah. surge well uh, yeah yeah but like you're, you're gonna you're gonna do it out of, you're not gonna change it out of honor bro you know because like this is how i did it you know this is how it should have been yeah, yeah. just because yeah. i can relive you know like it took me i think a year and a half to actually learn how to bread with prayers because i didn't even know f keys existed and learning that took a while, but it was super fun. I don't know if it's going to be fun in this wilderness anymore, but uh, just you're not going to have that kind of learning process with that big ass ice barrage. Yeah, it, it's just, yeah. Right. People are going to forget that actually required some skill, you know, to like be precise. <laughs> but now we're going to have those RuneScape videos where it's like if you had a PK video out with the barrage regular size, you're an OG now. So we're OGs. It's already. Yeah, I mean, it, as long as they leave it so that you can have the original page, it's whatever. You know, if people are, really want to have that, then sure, why not? Yeah, right, I mean, anyways. like, yeah, just one update isn't really something that I could be too anal about, but it's just the fact that it's it's a a continuing problem, you know? Right, it's like, right. It's like, like a slippery slope. Yeah, like, it, it's been end? a slow, slippery slope. They've already done That's the withdraw what? X because they argue it's quality of life. They've done this because they argue it's quality of life. I, I mean, uh, at this point, they're probably going to do a few more things like this. That is, and they're, uh, they're going to argue as convenience, quality of life, right? And you can never win that conversation. You'll never, ever win that. Because the moment yeah. they say quality of life, it's over. People are like, oh my God, quality <laughs> of life, baby. Bam, 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 you, you're yes, talking yes, like they're, yeah. it's like Russian propaganda and they're using words against us, you know? Well, I mean, they don't, I'm, 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 it's, it's just kind of like a psychological thing, you know? Some so, Watergate shit yeah, right here. It, it right, sucks yeah, because Watergate. that word is just too. The phrase "quality of life" literally just makes everybody go fucking like frothy it's, and with like, oh yeah. Quality you guys of life. know that thing Give where it's that. like if you ring yeah. a bell and then the dog, you feed the dog and it salivates. That's like yeah. quality of life with skillers. Every yeah, time pretty you see much. quality of life, uh, or anybody, just like, dude, ah, yeah. you know, yeah, exactly. anybody that yeah, don't understand perfect. like game longevity and like you know keeping certain things difficult, they they all what the moment they hear quality of life, they're just like. My convenience, my life, I'm good. I vote yes. That's why yeah. I always think like if people are wearing like a cooking cape or a fletching cape, I kind of like spit on them, you know, because they're disgusting people. But if you got like a Slayer cape, dude, it's, it actually took some skill. Uh, it's nice to wear. You know, you wear a, a cape that actually took some things. But how many quality of life updates are going to happen where it's like if you see a Slayer skill cape, you're thinking, uh, that's that's yeah, fucking easy. I mean, you know yeah, I mean? Like, how like, many, yeah. When are we going to get to that point where it's like every skill is just super fucking mundane? Yeah, I mean, like, to be honest, people are selfish, right? It's kind of Jagged's job to keep their keep us in check by not providing us I with say everything $12 membership, dude. Yeah. Keep us in check. They're just not bro. doing a, the, the best job with, with, like, keeping people's personal selfish greets in check, you know, for the game. Because, like, all these little quality of lives ain't helping the game. Like in the long run, I'll tell you that, because it's gonna get yeah. to a point where it's it's gonna be so easy to do a lot of things that the the, those the achievement updates. behind it is gone and and the incentive to do it because a lot of goals people do because they see it as wow it's meaningful you know there's something but yeah. but every time a lot of these goals that that are meaningful is a lot of it's backed by really annoying clicking or really annoying like you know interface systems. And people don't realize that. So the moment you start getting rid of all those things in, in the guise of quality of life, you know a lot of those things are uh, the, the legitimacy, the value of those goals go down like crazy. Right? Is this update bringing anybody into the game? Like anyone like, oh, I quit RuneScape, but now that the icon's bigger, I might join back in, right? No, it's just definitely. one of those things that's yeah. making people who already yeah. play more lazy. lazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because like, there, for example, big, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. There's a big, there's a big difference between a quality of life update and then making something way too easy when it doesn't need to be. Exactly. And I, I feel like this is just one of those things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For, like, for, the for, for mobile, more candy. For mobile, this makes perfect sense. Yeah. I, yeah. Exactly. Uh, I agree. PC, it should be on mobile. You don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it though. That's all it should be ever. What if you plug a keyboard and a mouse into mobile? All right, what happens then, dude? Are you just what's the point? You might as well buy a computer. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the bigger icon still, right? Fuck it. 
Yeah, it's like you might as well just buy a computer at that point because a lot of computers are cheaper than smartphones nowadays. <laughs> what if people did that to PK though? They got the the edge. I don't know if it'd be edgeful though if you have like both interfaces on the side. I'm, I couldn't PK like that. No, on, the, the thing is on the mobile, you can only open one side at a time. Exactly. Yeah. It's, 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 so it's, it's the same way with the PC, right. right? I couldn't PK doing that. That's yeah. But having both open would be insane. But they don't have that. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like mobile updates needs to stay on mobile, right? Because it's going to be something to do with changing the menu or changing the layout of stuff, right? Like, yeah, this should stay like that for the phone. But. And it gets pulled, it's happening. Like, yeah, you know, that's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anytime you pull one of those, I mean, it, you know, we're kind of just kind of uh, repeating what we've said. But yeah, yeah, sorry. But yeah, like, every, yeah, no, I'm saying for me because, you know, I, I like to. Well, go RuneScape's got a good thing going, right? Yeah, they and got it's it. like they I had a good thing them. going back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And then what happened? They pushed updates, right? And that's kind of what made RuneScape unplayable for me. Um, you know, fucking uh, no trade, uh, PK kind of with the shit. EOC came out obviously afterwards. Uh, just updates that are being pushed, and now yeah, they have yeah, these. Yeah. I mean, they're good and bad updates, for it, right? But right? it's still the same thing. Yeah, there's good and bad updates, but a lot of these quality of life ones, they need to check themselves. But that stuff, like yeah. psychologically, they're they're just forgetting what 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 updates really <laughs> mean. <laughs> It's some deep shit, dude. We're gonna make a Netflix movie yeah. out of this. I mean, thing. yeah, it's definitely a lot of like psychological process, you know, that goes into this stuff. But yeah, um, is there it's anything the else? Mod wanna... jet effect. Yeah, is there anything else we're covering? Was it the refs that we want to talk about? Oh, yeah, well, we, we I thought we could talk about, or... um, you know, wilderness updates that kind of been positive to the game since we're talking about the bounty hunter and the new drop table on revs. Obviously, should fit in there since we haven't covered this on, um on the podcast i think they changed their drop table three times and that's including the new weapon update and now revs is huge it's always packed it's insane and there's a lot of skull people out there because of the new thing where if you're scold you have a better chance of getting uh, a decent item or an emblem yo, you yo, guys yo man you know what's funny because the skull thing wasn't even new it's been there oh yeah no one yeah. knew about it yeah, it's been there, but for some reason, they never ever mentioned the fact that if you're a skull, you get like 30% more loot on the, yeah. act, on the yeah, actual Yeah, that should have definitely be, been mentioned. Before. I don't know, because I'm, the yeah. thing is, they rode the hype for when Revs came out, and then it kind of died down, and then they just shot it right back up with the skull up there, right? So they kind of made it last. But, but the thing is, is that it. we didn't know when the skull update came out. Like, it, it's been out for a while. It's just they I, I never... think it was always with it. So yeah, you know, exactly. They just said. never told. They just yeah. never wrote it down and on the home. home it's home an page. Easter egg, you know. It, it <laughs> makes total sense egg. as well. <laughs> okay. It makes total sense. The amount of um, I remember watching Spark Max video, and you know, he goes became with the tribe at Revs. They occasionally clear the world for the Revs, and in one video, there were about four or five uh, of the weapon drops, and I'd never seen anybody get one, and I've camped there for days, you know. And then these PKers go there this one time and they're all scold and they just start getting items. And looking back at that now in hindsight, I'm like, oh, you know, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So I, I know exactly when people start figuring out that it was well, like the general mass when it was like publicly kind of known was that I, somebody um, was tweeting something about the revs and then Ma Ash like. Uh, just kind of like just snuck up in tweet. there yeah yeah he was yeah. i think it was the guy was talking about like something about rewards for revs and then something involving skull i i wish i could get it but i just don't remember exactly but he was mentioning revs and skulling but then mod ash came out of nowhere and he just wrote this tweet is like um actually that's true and then everyone's like whoa whoa and whoa, whoa. whoa what is this game. what is this tweet and yeah. then he, they started showing it everywhere and and initially i was like um i think he's just joking you know, or being sarcastic. And then he clarified. Yeah, and then he <laughs> clarified it with this crazy ass post. He's like, what? no, yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so basically if you know how to do this math, I I, I mean, I guess Easily, if you learn that the shit time and effort. Man. But basically, people, you know, check the math and they're like, Oh yeah, he's right. Basically, if you're skull, you get like thirty percent more loot and, and better chance to get the um whatever the uh the weapons and stuff the unique sure. yeah so this is the comparison somebody did the math uh with a uh, you know skull versus unskull for certain things I, I didn't read it fully though but oh that's crazy that's a huge difference yeah yeah so like as you can see um change change of hitting that ultra rare drop table as you can see if you're skulled for example a revenant imp 
is one in fifteen thousand, whereas if you're unschooled, it's one in forty four thousand. So this is literally a third. Uh, uh, well, actually, it's like two thirds less rare than than the initial. Yeah, it's an insane value. drop. Yeah. What, what's the what's the dragon one at? Um, right here. The big boy. Yeah, it's about it's about thirty percent less. Uh, thirty percent. Scroll down original. a little bit. We we can't quite see. It. I want to oh, see. Oh yeah, the here it is. I'll highlight it. Oh, it's the same as the Rev Knight. Okay. Yeah, it's like the same uh, proportions for every single one of these. I mean, it's still pretty rare, but yeah. I mean, uh, I, I heard it's from... a one in a hundred and four chance to get like an actual drop, like emblem included. So, if skull, which is a game changer. And that's why I'm I'm actually testing that out on a low level account for a vid just to see. Yeah, I mean I this this has been mathematically things. proven based on the uh the formula that Mod Ash. Now, do you think because one of the drops from the revs is uh the Avarice amulet, Av Avas? I don't know if I'm saying that right. And yeah, oh, it's pretty yeah. cheap because it's borderline useless. Some people use it at Green Dragons. I'm wondering if you have that worn scold. Could this effect kind of carry over to other monsters or maybe just inside rev caves in general? Yeah, no, it's but, just revs. It's just revs. I know, but I'm just saying it'd be cool if there was an, um, a side update. Yeah, where well, they, they could they could do that. That would just make the wilderness even more active and more right? reasons. Because you have to be well. skulled with the amulet. So what if you were like farming certain monsters in rev cave and had like a unique-ish drop per each so it gives you more money? I, I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe. with the amulet, is it... I mean, things are already noted, right? For revs, so you don't really need yeah. emulet for revs, but you can no, use emulet for other things, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been picking a couple down at Green Drags. It's fun. It's super fun. Yeah, uh, like you you basically uh, how much more money do you make with the emulet when you're killing like Green Dragons or something? You just don't bank, dude. I might actually try that for a video. Why yeah, not? there you go. Tell me you you're doing it as long as you want. <laughs> yeah, Shut pretty up, much. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Kind of... Where that 2K World Canon. I'll Green just Dragons be on Discord, dude. Give you some commentary. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I like Revenants. I mean, do you guys? I haven't been there in a while, but is Revenants like as active as it should be? Could oh, make it tell you all about that. <laughs> Cut. Oh my God, dude! Clans. I saw. I was doing Total World Revs the other night on a pure, and I saw so many main clans just camping that shit. Hmm. It's insane the amount of people at Revs right now. Uh, yeah. PVM wise, uh, it's not as active as it used to be. It's still pretty active though, and there's a lot more skull people, which you can kind of try to get like a smite off, which is kind of nice. But clan wise, it's it's super packed. Yeah, I think it'd be more packed though if if you couldn't smite. It's the the biggest problem I have, and a lot of people roast me for it, is just the smiting aspect. They fix the BGS, so you can't get smited that easily, but you can still do it with a maze. Yeah, they never and fix the maze. It takes a bit of teamwork but literally a bit right yeah. these people have won like tourneys they can do this every time if they wanted to um yeah. i'm wondering should that be allowed in the game no I, I don't really like the idea of being like because you're you're absolutely gonna lose your stuff if you ever encounter those teams yeah pretty much it just discourages people to bring plus ones like yeah you're like then, 100%. at the end of the day it's just a bunch of people without plus ones or any risk and it's yeah. like what's the fun of that just green little goblin robes or dds squads i see nowadays more because they're afraid to bring their shit out and, and they I should think, be like yeah i mean, I, mean I, I think it's a little bit op because say it's it like OP. <laughs> say, say it's, have you ever say been smited Rexy, have you ever been yeah, smited? Yeah, yeah, I've been smited. <laughs> okay, so you should oh, know. No, no, I've <laughs> not been smited that way, but I know exactly how it goes down. But yeah. say there's like 15 PKers and one PVM or the Scold, like the chances of them, if they're all smiting, smiting that person, even if they don't use maces, is pretty damn high. The no. mace makes it a guarantee. It's a guarantee it's... that they're going to get smited. Yeah. Well, the big, you smite people, people when they're running away. If... If there's somebody who doesn't want to get smited, they can't be smited unless you mace them out. But if somebody's running away, actively eating food, that's how you smite someone, or you sneak up on somebody. Doing this, it, it seems like, oh, it's a more skilled way to do it, but it's there's always a method to where if you break it down, you can get it every time. And yeah. I don't know if that's skill, or there's just muscle memory. In that opinion, I mean, yeah, I, I'd say I, skill I, is more like... Not, what it's skill. not skill, really, is yeah. it? Because it's no. effectively freeze the person... If they're if they're under level thirty, make sure you TB them, freeze them. Ten people log in, three, two, one, spec. Maybe Dead. one person despairs. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing. All of these clans that you were uh, like a monkey earlier, could Mr. do. That. They're roasting me because skill specs was talking like this kind of bullshit, and I go, yeah, dude. I think uh, more people be in the wild if 
uh, there wasn't this whole thing where you just smite someone out for all their prayer. And then all of a sudden, like 10 or 20 people on Twitter just started roasting me. Dude, I know I they're all the rest. same scene. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it was ridiculous. I'm like, I can't even fight back because you're all sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> yeah, man, you stupid. Oh, we even just like, I mean, yeah, like, like bro, <laughs> the, on, obviously the people that are doing this, they're obviously going to be like, don't be a bitch. This is how yeah. we do, you know. Yeah, because they make bills yeah. from doing exactly. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they make even so Mr. No Sleep was back and I'm like, really, dude? Are you kidding me? And I and I think it's because he's in cahoots with them, which is not a bad thing. But they'll like make side money because it's not against the rules, so it's not like a hate thing. It's just they're doing it. But yeah. I love that word cahoots. Cahoots. But unless you're actively smiting people like this, then you're not going to be defending it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone defend it that doesn't actively go out there and do it. And that's the thing is like that's why it's still. You know, they tried to patch with the BGS, but you could still do it. Not as easily, yeah. but... Well, let's miss. poll it. They should poll it. Why not? Or right. I, I, I don't think they, could put, they probably couldn't put it down as a quality of life update because it ain't a quality of life for everybody, but they should certainly poll it. There's enough I mean, people but if they it. say it's a quality of life, they'll pass. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> it might not pass. Actually, no, it probably would pass no matter what. Like, yeah. Quality of think, life, new skills summoning. Yeah, Every J mod should get smited for questions. one item that way, yeah. and then they'll understand, right? Because if you think about it, any game that has something like this to where uh, if you do it right, there's nothing you can do, and the outcome is always the same. It is partially a glitch, yeah. right? Or a bug. I mean, if they've already nerfed the BGS because it was done with BGSs before, it's only a matter of time before they... They nerf it with maces. That's I, what I I'm think saying on Twitter, down. and they suck and eat. New oh, man, it's supposed to be harder. Oh my god! Yeah, but don't, like, don't listen to the people. Tiny bit of communication. It's so skilled. Don't take this aspect away from us, dude. I can't I mean, wait to see him in the comments. We're just bitching because they're fucking trying to have fun while we fucking sell gold. Like, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Oh man! I like, keep your internet on. Yeah, it's fucking. And that's the people who control Reddit half the time too. That's the thing. The loudest. And the most toxic are just always in the front four of what we're trying to get changed. <sighs> it's okay. We all have our own uh, conflict of interest, right? Because yeah, you, you yeah. obviously yeah. don't want to be smited. This, so you yeah, this is like the it. rice cup of um, of your poll thing. This is my shit. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. I, just, I mean, I, I just want to see that of... Willie succeed. You know, like yeah. I love Iron Man, but at the same time, I want to go out to eat Willie, have, have a couple friends, fuck around. And it just literally, you know, sip on a beer and have a good time. And I think what that's literally the best thing to do in the wild. But people don't want you having a good time in the wild. No, I mean, they have a good time making sure. Your ass exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not even bitching. That's a straight fact. And the people who'd argue against that, you're going to spend tonight finding my stream and probably doing the same thing. And it's just... Well, what's your stream? Twitch.tv? Uh, Twitch.tv. Uh, Twitch. Twitch. account. Right. Go, I'll link the donation button if you guys need it. I gotta... uh, if, if, you, if, you guys, account. if you guys smite him, DM Rakesy on Twitter oh, and in the next podcast. Can you just oh, tag us all in it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing my Iron Man for like <laughs> all month, dude. I'm going to be up a Rice Cup status real quick. Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. All right. Is there like a positive note we can end on? I mean... That was uh, uh fuck make the wilderness great uh, again. <laughs> all right, I will say this. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't gonna say this. Another idea for uh revenants, because I don't think it needs this right now, but this would definitely make it more active and appealing for PVMers to go to. And more PVMers are in the wilderness, more P cares, everybody's happy. If they yeah, made yeah. it so there was like a rare drop rate of say receiving like a key from a revenant, and then you could go like through some sort of door, unlock the door. It's kind of like with uh, the guard, and you, oh. you could fight like a revenant boss. Um, obviously, they could build off that. They could make it so PKers could go in there without the key, or you have to have a key to go inside. It could have a better chance of dropping the items and uh, just something like that. That would be kind a of appealing revenant to me. Key to kill a revenant boss to get yeah. killed by people. I mean, better reward, bigger risk. I mean, know? I'm always down for other side updates on revs. I, hmm. like, I would grind a key out if I can get one. Yeah, um, I, I feel like the Revenants don't really need an update at this point because it's doing very yeah, well. It's insanely really good money. But Holy shit. Like, yeah. Maybe in the future they could do something like that. I mean, That's I always something to look for. Yeah. Shai, do you have any other updates uh, that you would want to bring up for PK? Um, just for like bounty hunter, I feel like you know how there's like the world rotation every two weeks. Yeah, it goes from like West Coast America to like UK. And I still I really don't get like used that. to it. 
It's weird. I'd rather have it on the like East Coast. I feel like that would make it so like a lot of your people can like still do bounty hunter on like 319 and all that. I see like a lot of complaints about that. Yeah, how it's like, like dividing like, the community. Like it's supposed to be like balancing it, but I do see like a lot of people think it's dividing it. Yeah, I, that's I, a good I point. Think, I think it's weird that you have to switch roles every other week. You know? Yeah. Well, they're trying to make it so everyone has a uh, good ping. For they want everybody have, like, a good every once in a while. But, like maybe yeah. have two at the same time, but that might encourage more emblem farming. Yeah, it'll like, be this, uh, not that big anyway. Did you say East Coast or West Coast? Uh, it's on the west right now, and I feel like it would probably be better on the east for a lot of people. Because the like, east coast is kind of like <laughs> no. yeah. Nah. It's because he's on the west. No, you yeah. should definitely you should definitely be taking turns like where it is. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if they put it as an Australian world, nobody would do it. Though, I mean, like world. honestly, damn. I think Aussies. I think the issue comes from the fact that there just isn't enough people to kind of constantly split between the two worlds. Yeah, I agree. if there were a lot, if there were enough people, then having two worlds wouldn't be a problem, right? Because then you always get like fights and stuff going all, all the time. But right now, it's like there's yeah, not enough people, so every time someone like you know people are not feeling like going to a, to the other world because they switched the week, there'll be less people. Yep. And then it's like people, are like, oh well, I gotta wait until I find a fight, which is really boring. And I'll tell you what, Jagex yeah. need to do. They need to find like a little islands between the UK and America. And just like buy it and just make that like the headquarters, and then everybody's happy. Or just yeah, make like a like, massive lamppost out of the sea and like, I don't know, make it like a mansion island. Yeah. <laughs> just a little. Uh, That'd be sick. Beautiful. All right. Shay. Shy. Shy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, fucking, come on, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Go ahead. Casey, right? what, what are your social medias? Plug them. Where can people find you? Is she muted? Yeah, you're muted, by the way. What? You're muted. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> there goes your spot. End it. End it, man. There you go. Oh, That's where you can fun. find her. I deserve it. I deserve for more promotional <laughs> time. Her links will be down below. <laughs> Tell her what's so, up. All that it's just stuff. like my name is spelled on the screen, uh, twitch.tv slash shy, and then Twitter slash shy osra. That's all I really oh. use. Awesome. We're going to link you down below as well. So everybody, make sure you go over and follow Shy on Twitch and on Twitter also. Thank you Never. for having me. I hope my, uh, my ideas You're the only one bad. who knew about Bounty Hunter in this whole goddamn yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You could get targets, yeah, apparently. I'm, I'm, so bad ass, I'm, like, so. I'm kind of nervous. And I feel like I'm not like, putting no, my thoughts together. You were together. great. Like, Perfect. No, so, we're just way better than Mika. Way better than Mika. Okay, well, thanks for that. Nah, I love Beautiful. you, Mika. Go ahead, Mink. Right. You wrap this up. You know how to do it. Alrighty, day. boys. Well, you guys know OSR's podcast, Mod Jed Shirt, link down below. Extra <laughs> large. Tell your friends we're going to be live every Sunday and do not smite me or I'm going to come find Rakesy's forehead and slap it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. See you later, boys. <laughs>